it's it's super hard it's super hard it's a loss it's a it's a obviously it's a loss it's a great one Lori Boland Embry will never get over the sudden death of Jerry Boland Lori considered the 42 year old a brother I am biologically his aunt but my parents adopted him when he was three years old and he called me his sister. In the early morning hours of June 2nd, Jerry was driving from his home in Idaho Falls, Idaho to Forks, Washington when he got a flat tire. This happened on I-205 northbound, just south of the 134th Street exit in the Salmon Creek area of Clark County. Authorities say Jerry was changing the tire on his 1998 Pontiac Bonneville, similar to this one when he was badly hurt in a hit and run crash. The people who had came upon him said that he was uh, conscious and, and speaking. Unfortunately, Jerry's injuries were too serious and he died at the hospital. Lori recalls receiving the news hours later. I personally started screaming, which is probably not the best response to have, but um, it is what it is. Lori says there's absolutely no way the driver who hit Jerry did not realize it. I can't suppose what and where their mind is and was. What Lori does know is that Jerry, of all people, did not deserve this fate. He was just a lovable human being um, and incredibly kind to a fault. Count those traits among the reasons this Father's Day will be an extremely difficult one for Jerry's seven kids. They and the rest of the Boland family are hoping for justice for Jerry. It's not about revenge. It's about resolution and um, peace, peace for everybody, for everybody involved. Our thoughts are certainly with Jerry's family. We can tell you that detectives with the Washington State Patrol are investigating this deadly crash. They, of course, want witnesses to come forward, but they're also asking for anyone who has a dash cam and was driving in the area at the time of the crash to check the footage for any sign of the suspect vehicle. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.